Hi everyone. Today I wanted to share with you the super easy bunny craft that you guys could display for Easter this weekend. It's got a cute little bobble head and fluffy tail and you will need the following items. Now that you have your supplies, we're gonna start with a piece of paper. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the length of the paper to make the body of our bunny. You can use any color construction paper you want. And you're gonna take your ruler, and a ruler is used for making straight lines and measuring. Today we're gonna use the ruler to measure two inches. So make sure that you can look at your ruler and see zero to 12, find two inches, and you're going to line it up at the zero and make a mark at two. You will then set your ruler down as straight as possible, holding it in the middle with your hand so it doesn't um, move back and forth, and take your pencil and draw a straight line. Now take your scissors and cut. Now that you have cut, this is gonna be the body for our bunny. So it's gonna roll and get glued here and pressed down. So what I want you to do, the easiest way to do this is get a glue stick and right at the end, put some glue. And just like you're rolling a circle, and you're gonna hold the glue right here and count one, two, three, four, five. So we have a circle right here, and we want this to be our bunny's body. So I'm gonna put my hand inside the circle, and I'm gonna press and make a crease. Now I'm gonna flip and do the same thing on the other side. My hand is inside the circle and I'm going to press it down, lining it up so it's not crooked. And once I have that lined up, press, make the crease. And now you have what looks like the arch of a rainbow and a flat straight line. This will be the bunny body. With your scrap paper from earlier, you're going to fold it in half. Open it up and you're gonna cut down the middle. You're going to take one of the papers and fold it in half again and you're going to make a heart. To make a heart, coming down two fingers, make a mark. Put all four fingers and make a mark. You're going to curve up and down. So what we are trying to do is make half of a heart using symmetry. So in art, we, in art class, we always use our fingers to measure because everybody's got those. So again, two fingers made the mark. All four fingers, I made the mark. And then just to check, you could always make a mark at three fingers wide to make sure that you're getting a nice wide heart. And we'll cut that heart out. Set that aside, we're gonna cut all of our shapes. We're gonna repeat that, folding it in half on the fold, which is super important if you didn't get it the first time. On the fold, we're gonna two fingers down, three fingers across, four fingers, making that curve that comes up all the way out and down and cutting it out. So 
now I have two hearts. And with my paper, I'm going to draw, keeping it folded, the ears of the bunny and the front paws of the bunny. So I'm going to start right here on this fold and I'm gonna make, using one finger, I made two lines outside of it. If you're young, you probably have skinnier fingers than Miss Samson. You could use two fingers as well, depending the size you want for the front of the bunny's paw. And then we're gonna come down, let's say three fingers, and make what looks like a tall letter U. my scissors right in there at that fold to separate for the two paws. So I have two hearts, two paws. Now I need to make the ears. The ears of the bunny, I'm going to make an oval. So I'm going to start with the oval right over here. And again, measuring, I wanna use four fingers for the length, so I'm just gonna make a mark knowing that that's how high I need to come up for my oval for my bunny ear. And the bunny ear is kind of skinny at the bottom and at the top, kind of like a, a V almost. And now I can curve it, so I'm gonna use two fingers, make a mark, make a mark, and I can just make a nice curve for my bunny's ear. Now we kept our paper folded, so when I cut it out, I have two ears that are the exact same size. Keeping my pencil on the back, because nobody wants to see that. And now I have my bunny ears. If you want, you could round them a little bit more so they're not point as pointy. Um, it's up to you. Now I've got my purple paper. I'm gonna use um, a different color scrap paper for the detail inside the bunny ears and cutting smaller ovals. If you don't have that, you could easily um, use a marker and color it any color you want, whether you wanna use purple, pink, you name it. It can be any color. So I wanna make these two ovals the same size. So I'm gonna fold it in half. And this time I'm gonna take one finger and make a mark on the left side and the right side. And I'm gonna take three fingers on the fold to mark where I want the height to end. Making that V shape again at the top and the V shape at the bottom going out get that inside curve. Cutting it out. And I have oops, those two of them. Now that we have all of our pieces, we can put our bunny together. Save your scraps, because we'll use them for the neck here in a little bit. I'm gonna take the body of the bunny and I'm gonna take one of my hearts and we talked about folding the heart in half and only drawing half of it. When something's the same on both sides, it's symmetrical. So a heart is a symmetrical shape. You can tell a symmetrical shape from when you fold it in half, draw a line down that middle, that line of symmetry. And if it's the same on both sides, it's got symmetry. So we're gonna draw, or I mean cut, <laughs> right down the middle, it's a broken heart, and we're gonna glue underneath for our bunny's feet. So I put a little bit of glue. Sticking it at the back. And I'm gonna move it down because I don't really wanna see it. And those are gonna be his little paws.
Now I can do the same with the front paws, gluing those on and drawing the lines. ready for the bunny's face. So we're gonna take his ears, and his face is going to be an upside down heart. So first I'm gonna glue the inside parts of his ear. And then I'm gonna glue those behind the bottom of the heart, which is now the top. Now I can draw the nose and the eyes and the face. If you are working with a darker colored construction paper, you can cut out on a piece of white paper the eyes and the nose and glue it on. If you have googly eyes or even a little um, pink cotton ball or pom-pom, depending what kind of crafts and materials you have at home, you could use that. Now, we don't wanna glue the head on because we want it to pop out a little bit. So I'm gonna go back and get my purple scrap paper. And just to make sure we have the correct measurement, I'm gonna use my finger, or you could use two. And I'm gonna cut out a rectangle that's the length of my finger. I'm gonna give this an accordion fold. We did this in a previous lesson if you were able to make the dragon pencil holder where I fold it forward. And my fold is again about the thickness of a finger. I fold it back. And then I fold it forward. So it should be the letter M. You don't want it to be very long. If it's very long, you're gonna have the weight of the bunny's head plopping down and he's gonna look like a sad bunny with a saggy face. And now I have to plan ahead. If I glue it like this, his head will flop down. So I'm going to glue it the other way. And you have to play around with it a little bit. The first time I did it, I had to cut it because it was too long. So up at the top, definitely a good hands length. Put in some glue there. Glue his head. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see it's popping around and he's hopping and ready to go. The very last thing, um, if you have a cotton ball, great. Um, you could glue a cotton ball. I recommend using some Elmer's glue, but again, whatever you have. If you don't have a cotton ball, you could just draw a little cotton tail on the back. Just a dot, not a lot. back on my glue and cleaning up after myself. No messes for your family at home, please. And there you have it, a quick bunny craft that you can display this weekend for Easter if you're celebrating. If not, just a cute little bunny for the spring with a fun little bobblehead. Hope you had fun creating art with us. Remember to be respectful, be responsible, be kind, and always be creative. Now say it. Happy Easter. Happy Easter from Mrs. Samson and Noel.